So one of the key activities we do in silviculture is really trying to enhance both the health and growth of trees. And so one way we do that is thinning in a forest and so actually reducing the number of trees that are in that forest with the goal to increase the resources left for those trees that are out there. And so one way to go about doing that is to actually thin around what we call crop trees, those trees either that are, are your prime producers in terms of timber production, or in the case of sugaring, might be some of your better trees for, for producing sap. And so what we might do is locate those trees in the forest, like this tree here, and essentially evaluate what trees are actually competing with this individual tree for resources. And if I wanted to actually accelerate the growth of this tree, kind of increase its, its diameter, increase the resources it has to withstand stressors in any given year, what trees do I need to remove to actually favor that? And so one strategy people often will take is they'll remove the smaller trees around an individual tree, what we call low thinning or thinning from below. But by the time a tree is in the main canopy, that really has very little impact on its growth. You're really removing trees that aren't as competitive relative to your crop tree. And so a more common strategy we often use is what's called crop tree release. And so in that case, we really are trying to create holes in the canopy, so literally opening space around the crown of this tree Act, give it more access to light resources and really give that crown the ability to expand and, and generate that engine that's so critical for producing the sugars and things that, that allow for trees to grow as well as produce sap. And so with crop tree release, what we're often doing is looking up at the crown, divided that up into four quadrats. Um, where are the competitors and can I at, le at least release two of those sides of the crown to accelerate the growth? Of course, when you're removing other trees, including other sugar maple, that's re removing the amount of tappable trees you have on the site. But of course, what you're doing through that removal is investing in those trees that really are your true producers, those bigger diameter trees that give you the most bang for your buck from a sugaring standpoint.